I've got a couple of brief notes about latitude and longitude in ArcGIS for you. I want you to note that down here in the bottom right of the program, it does give you a live update of where your cursor is in as far as your coordinates go across your project. But I want you to note a couple of things about how it's reporting them. The first thing I want you to notice is that the coordinates are reported backwards from how they typically are. I know, that seems completely weird. When you talk about uh, the coordinates, you talk about latitude first. You, you might say it's uh, 13 degrees south, and then you talk about east or west. So maybe 37 degrees east or 48 degrees west. So you do your latitude first, and then you report your longitude. Well, this program reports this exactly backwards. So notice as I'm scrolling across the planet here, I'm going to go north here. And uh, so I'm roughly not quite on the equator here. Now I'm a little bit closer. And as I'm going north, you can see that it's not the first number that's changing. It's the second number that's changing. It's reporting longitude first and then latitude. Also, it's not giving me north, south, east, west. It's giving me positive and negative. Here I am over here in positive numbers of longitude, and I'm also in positive numbers of latitude. Over here I am in negative longitude, but positive uh, latitude. And then as you can see down here, I'm in both negative, and over here I'm in positive longitude, but negative latitude. So, so it doesn't report east and west, north and south, and it also inverts the order that uh, latitude and longitude are most properly given when you're reporting coordinates. So this can certainly be a problem if you have latitude and longitude uh, properly reported and you're entering them directly into the system. The system is expecting them to be inverted, and also it's expecting there to be positive and negative numbers. It's basically treating this as if it is a Cartesian grid. Most of us are familiar with Cartesian grids from high school geometry. So rather than a spherical coordinate system, it's acting like this is a Cartesian grid system. Also, I want you to notice that the system really doesn't have an understanding of what are valid and invalid uh, latitude and longitude. Uh, I'm going to continue going north up here. Take a look at this. Right now it says that my cursor is positioned at 95 uh, degrees north. 95 degrees north isn't even something that we have on the planet, but the system will still accept that. Let's go over here, and we see that the system thinks that I'm over here at uh, 193 uh, degrees of longitude. Probably something like 193 degrees east or something. That's not even a valid way of communicating latitude and longitude. And so the system will allow you to do some pretty crazy things and even assign coordinates that are not even on the planet because it's thinking about this not as a spherical coordinate system, which it is, but it's, it's using a, a very direct and in some ways a rather crude interpretation of this just as directly Cartesian grid coordinates. So you have to be aware of that.